Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the story of Kelvin from Sideways Stories from Bayside School, written by Louis Sachar. This book actually contains 30 stories and each story is either about a child or a teacher who is at Wayside School. And Wayside School is a special school because it was accidentally built sideways. The original idea was to build only one story high with 30 classrooms all next to each other in a row. But the builder by mistake built 30 stories high with one classroom on each story. But the children loved it even though the builder said sorry because now they had an extra large playground to play. Kelvin. Kelvin had a big round face. One day, Mrs. Jewels called Kelvin and asked him to take a note to Miss Jarvis for her. Kelvin said, Miss Jarvis? And Mrs. Jewels said, yes. You know where she will be, don't you? And Kelvin said, yes, she will be in the 19th story because she is the teacher who is supposed to teach the 19th story. And Mrs. Jewel says, yes, it's correct. And you see, she says, take this to her. And Kelvin stands there itself without moving. And Mrs. Jewels asks why he is standing there. And Kelvin repeats the same question. She is on the 19th story. And Mrs. Jewel says, yes, that you clarified all, already. And again Kelvin says, this is, uh, is she in the 19th story? And uh, Mrs. Jewel says, please go before I lose my patience. Uh, and Kelvin is about to say something to Mrs. Jewels, but Mrs. Jewels says, if you're not going now, you'll be going home on the kindergarten bus. So Kelvin has no other option, so he walks out to the door slowly. Seeing all this, Terence laughs and says, okay, okay, take it to the 19th story. And uh, Myron Hoots saying, give it to Miss Jarvis. And Jason says, have fun on the 19th story. Kelvin comes out of the 19th of out of his classroom and he stands there and now he doesn't know where to go because he knows that there is no 19th floor because the builder not only built the school sideways he also forgot to build the 19th story like after building the 18th story he directly built the 20th century uh, 20th floor but not the 19th floor and later on again he said sorry for that and since there was no 19th floor, there is also no Miss Jarvis because she is the teacher who is supposed to teach the students in the 19th story. And since there is no 19th story, there is no Miss Jarvis. Not only that, Kelvin has another problem also. Mrs. Jewels had not given him any note. She said take this note to Miss Jarvis but she did not give him any note. So he does not have any note to give it to Miss Jarvis even if one Miss Jarvis is already there. Now what he thinks is, what am I to do? I am supposed to take a note that I don't have and I am supposed to give it to a teacher who is not there and I am supposed to go to a story that was not at all built up. Now he did not know what to do so he walked down and he came to the 18th story. Then he walked up, he reached the 20th story. Then again he came down, it was the 18th story. Again he went up, it was the 20th story. There was no 19th story at all. Now he did not know what to do. So he goes to the administration office because he thinks, okay, I'll put the note in Ms. Jarvis's mailbox. But there was no mailbox for Ms. Jarvis. But anyway, Kelvin was not bothered because Mrs. Jewels had not given him any note at all. So he did not have any note. And when he looked out of the window, he saw Louis, the yard teacher, uh, playing in the basketball ground. And he thought, okay, Mr. Lewis will know what to do. And so he went there. And Kelvin greeted Mr. Lewis. And Mr. Lewis passed him the basketball and asked him to play. Kelvin was not able to play properly. So Lewis asks him, do you want to play a game? And Kelvin tells him, no, I don't have time to play. And I have to deliver a note to Miss Jarvis in the 19th floor. And Mr. Lewis is asking, then why did you come down? You should be in the 19th floor. And Kelvin says, no, there is no 19th floor here. And then Mr. Lewis asks, where is then Miss Jarvis? And Kelvin says, there is no, no Miss Jarvis. And Lewis asks, then what are you going to do with the note? Kelvin says, there is no note. And Lewis says, I understand. And Kelvin says, good, because I am not sure whether I understood. And Lewis says, it's very simple. 
you are not supposed to take no notes to no teacher because you have already not done it and kelvin still didn't understand so he says i better go and tell mrs jewels that i was not able to deliver the note and louis says it's very good because the truth is always the best and uh, above all i think i didn't understand what you said and so kelvin walks back to the 30th flight to mrs jewels class and seeing him mrs jewels thanks him and kelvin is not in a position to accept the thanks but mrs jewels does not allow him to speak she just says it was a very important note and i'm glad i was able to depend on you and uh, kelvin again tries to tell her something and uh, jason asks her did you deliver the note to miss jarvis on the 19th floor how did you do it and immediately mrs jewels asks him how can you ask him such a thing how did he do it some people are responsible and she believes that kelvin is one such person who is responsible and uh, kelvin again tries to tell miss jewels but mrs jewels interrupts him and tells him see this is a very important note because in that note i told miss jarvis not to meet me for lunch hearing this kelvin says don't worry she won't meet you for lunch because he knows very well that there is no miss jarvis and mrs jewel says good she is happy he has delivered the message so she tells him i have a caf- coffee can full of tutsi roll pops on my desk you can take one for being such a good messenger and kelvin thanks her and says but really it was nothing and here he tells the truth because he knows he has done nothing and this is the story of kelvin if you have anything more to add on to what i have said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you